Hello everyone, welcome to the engineeringprojects.com. In my previous video tutorial, I have told you that how to get the values of different variable how to get the values of different variables from the user in MATLAB using editor. Now this video tutorial is about how to calculate the fast Fourier transform of a sinusoidal signal and how to plot the fast Fourier transform of the sinusoidal signal in MATLAB using editor. Remember the fast Fourier transform of a sinusoidal signal will always be in discrete form that is in the form of impulses. So now first of all open your MATLAB software and open the editor as well. Here first of all I am going to declare the time duration from 0 to 1 at which the sinusoidal signal is defined. Now I am going to adjust the frequency as 5 Hz. Now in the form of X I am going to declare or generate the sinusoidal signal as sin 2 pi f t Now I'm going to plot the signal. Now as a variable of y, I'm going to calculate the fast Fourier transform of the signal using the command FFT. I'm going to remove the semicolon because I want to observe the result on the command window. Now run the program and here first of all write CLC in order to clear the command window after running the program here I'm going to run the program now move to the command window you can see that this is the result of the fast Fourier transform of the sinusoidal signal that I have generated in the MATLAB using editor so now I'm going to plot the fast Fourier transform of the sinusoidal signal since I have already told you that fast Fourier transform of the signal will always be in the form of discrete impulses so instead of using plot I need to use the command stem so now I'm going to plot the fast Fourier transform Y using the command stem now run your program and you can see the result is on the boundaries and is not clear so here I'm going to set the limits of the x axis using the command xlim. I'm going to set it as minus 5 to 5. Now run the program again. You can see that there are two impulses on 1 and 2 in opposite direction. That shows the Fourier transform of the sinusoidal signal in MATLAB using editor. So that's all from the tutorial that how to calculate the fast Fourier transform of a sinusoidal signal and how to plot the fast Fourier transform of a sinusoidal signal in MATLAB using editor. Take care. Bye bye.